We just finished in the Ghana shop. Ghana shop located Rob Street, Alexander Street. And we are here at Border. It's a lovely afternoon. We don't usually do the market tour in the afternoon, but we got some special folks here with me. Okay, everybody's over there. How, how is um, celery and, and, and the shallow today, the, uh, uh, this week? This is 40, the celery is 300. Last week it was 2,000, went up to 2,000. Everybody by. sell different. different. Oh, different people, different, different price. price. How come it? How come it going up so with, with the uh, thing? Weather, like, the weather. As soon as the rain falls, it. Yeah. All right, good. So you can't beef with them because I know how how hard it is yeah. to get into the farm and come out. Yeah. But you see, we come in as well. Yeah. Right. And does people like like for me? I understand that. Like me, I can click and be like, "Oh shoot, the tractor can't get in there." Whatever little that they have, you get it. It's sold out. How does people react to that? Like when they see <laughs> that happening, with the price fluctuating. The vendors get me because the farmers get their money, and we had to sell it. If they sell out, and I just have to pay them. Gotta go and pay them. You see, right? And so I was. Most time, most time we carry the losses as vendors. And 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 people complain. Oh, the vendors are expensive without even trying to understand. Mm -hmm. On the marketplace, the ratio of men to women. On the marketplace, tell them. More women. More women than men. How many kids do you have? They write out here in the mornings with her, and they all go into high school. All going to high school right here in Georgetown. Ask them. Yeah. Which high school did it go to? I played in Hall Secondary. All right, gotcha. I was just, I was just curious because I used to go, I used to go to Saints, and there's a few schools I still remember oh. in Georgetown. Okay. But mm. Just, just out of curiosity. Okay. Yeah. When you hear people saying stuff like that, now you get a real understanding, a real feeling. You, you, you come to the market, but you don't get to understand that. Yeah. So when we're showing it off, it's not like, oh yeah, we're showing off Bora and we're passing them. No, we buy from them, yeah. right? But we also know what they're going through. It's a story behind every meal, every plate of food is a story. That's what, that's what we have in there. Yeah. With the rainfall, no sales in the morning. Now the afternoon when they're supposed to get the sale. Yeah. And you know that Guyana was, the, the, uh, we used to cook three meals a day. We would walk and go home from school. That's not being done anymore. They would go to the fast food place and eat. But it's, it's very important that we support these people from the grassroots thing. You know, so you know where it's going and, and why we're doing what we're doing. You see? Intact. Yeah. Mom, you having fun? Uncle, you don't got none of that thing there. All right, good. Oh. Well, well, I'm get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Turmeric in his raw stage. You should be on top of this. Yeah. You see that? You ever seen it before? It looks like ginger. Looks like ginger. I've actually been to a farm over the river, and I saw them. Which one? That one at Perico? Um, the Gobins family farm? No, I think it's just a, a random family. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. and reap the turmeric. Oh, okay, okay. Now, folks are asking me, where are you guys at? When you come in, please bring this. Because we started the um, We Riri Challenge, Pepper Challenge, when in the heart of the pandemic, when pepper price went up and the folks wasn't getting sale and everything. So we started the challenge and it's not just, oh yeah, let me eat pepper. It's for them to understand. This doesn't grow any place else. Yes, you can carry one of this back and then you're going to get a couple of trees and it stops right there. This is indigenous to Guyana. Nowhere in the Caribbean. Guyana. So when I start showing it off and then they start learning about it and then you have different chefs understanding the depth and flavors that, that this has, they beg in, send this for me, send, pickle it and send it. Yeah. 
We will repurple. Shark man, you gonna pick the, the smallest pineapple? <laughs> I got thousand people here. But I tell you, a big one, the man gonna find the littlest one. All right, don't hot up your tracks, man. Lefty. <laughs> All right. Finally, golden apple up on the market. All right. We're in the middle of the market tour, and as you can see, everyone is here, right? Leticia Wright, uh, director, is here, and we're doing a market tour with her. We have this young lady from the um, the beauty pageant, and she's representing. Could you tell them uh, uh, what you what you are doing, like which part Hi. of the you're representing? Yes, okay, so the pageant is the Miss Guiana Culture Queen pageant and I'm contestant number nine and we're ba basically trying to promote Guiana's culture on an international level. So the winner, the queen, That's will be right. going to Sin Kids <laughs> to represent Guiana through and through. Where we Make sure she wins, her. right? Make yeah. sure you vote for her, all right? Yeah, contestant number nine. Got, that's right. So you got Golden Apple, these, these are lines, different lines. Golden apple is now coming back in season. You got some sour sap. This is going to be a lovely sapadilla. Is this fruits from the gods right here? So here it is. We're trying the sapadilla by sugar fruit from the gods. Oh my god, this is sweet. Mm -hmm. You heard of Willie Lynch? You must know who Willie Lynch is, right? Willie Lynch was a, the guy, you, you, you saw um, Roots, when the guy was beating yeah. Kunta Kinte, what's your name? Yeah. What's your name? This is your name, right? And he's like, that's the name we give you, and that's, Toby is the name we give you, and that's the name. That was Willie Lynch who was whipping him. Willie Lynch was the one who mastered the whip. He had a university on how to keep slave in check in Jamaica. They would import him to all these different countries. Hey, I got my slaves, they rebellious and they want He was like, okay, this whip that I got, you can do the same thing with the tambourine trees. Plant it alongside, around your uh, uh, plantation, soak the whip, you plant it, and you get the same effect on that whip. You understand? To keep them in check. That is why you got tambourine here, well, I'm going to give, give them a little rundown, right? Borda is named after Joseph Borda, who was a Dutch plantation owner. The plantation was from Church Street right there, back to Brickdown, right? Or they would say um, South Road. But I would go to Brickdown and gotta, really got to fine tune that, that right there and I'll tell you. And I can even give you a little bit history on Brickdown. That's a whole different story. So. From Camp Street to where the garden is. That was Joseph Border Plantation, who was a Dutch plantation owner. If you look alongside on the Merriman Mall, tamarind trees. That is why they had tamarind planted around this area. That's where it came from, from Southeast Asia. This is not native to Ghana. So when me saying this, oh yeah, because people don't understand the history. I don't have time to teach you. I'm not a professor. I'm selling tamarind balls. And I need to make that money. Golden balls. You understand? So, who knows no? Now you know the history. Now you know, okay, well we get this now and we can make medicine with it. When she said the memory, they're selling you a tablet that named Ginkgo uh, uh, Biloba. It's tamarind. All they sell you is tamarind and a tablet. <laughs> I talk in Guyanese. Tamarind and a tablet. Give it a fancy name. Fancy name. You understand? So, that's why. Now, now, now you know a little something about the uh, thing. Why I would do certain things. But I, I, I don't say anything. Just let people go with whatever they want to go with. Because I don't have time to nitpick and fight with you. Yeah. <laughs> and you see, they know. But they don't know the depth of it. But they know what they can do with it turn it into medicine and stuff, right? So here is the real street pharmacist. 
Yes. <laughs> How are you? Doing well. And she is learning this business from her mother that learned from her mother that learned from her mother. And this has been here from generation. And this young lady is in the back there. She's, she's in the thing. She's a chemist putting things together. Right? So, Peppo, we are serving the ladies egg ball, right? And they haven't had egg ball in a long time. I know this is going to be the first time she's having it, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Like I said, cassava is a power food, so it is what it is. Ooh. Oh yeah, everybody watching you know like. That's heaven, right? That's what egg ball does to you. Thank you. Bye. This is my second cane juice. And guess what? I waited on this egg ball. Egg ball is supposed to come there. Just now, the man saying another two minutes. I got my cane juice waiting for the egg ball. Right? So, anyway, it's the end of the market tour. And can I have you ladies introduce yourself? Even though it's the end of the, the thing, right? Please, I know. Don't, don't be shy. We don't talk about that. I want you ladies to be, you know, giants amongst men. That's what they say, right? Introduce yourself and tell them what you're doing here. What, what is it that you're doing? Well, as you know already, I'm in a pageant called the Miss Guyana Culture Queen. And I do not only want to just promote and preserve our culture, but I intend to help our culture to evolve for the better so that we can be one people, one nation, and have one destiny of becoming one Guyana. So that's nice. my goal. Lovely, yeah. lovely. And this young, lovely young lady next to you right here, the photographer, she's, be, she's in the background. Now she got into the thing there. I put, the spot, I put her in the spotlight. Yes. Yeah. My name is Jade Atwell and I'm the camera woman and her PR manager. Yes. Her PR manager? Yes. Lovely. How was the market tour for you? It was great. I love, I, I grew up in Zimbabwe and my parents are from Guyana so I always would hear stories and ever since we've been back this is like my first time actually like being able to come to the market because I usually drive through and my friends would tell me they don't want to come and take me here because I look like a tourist. People are going to rob us. So this is actually like something I've always wanted to do and it's been on my bucket list for so a long time. So now you know that it's nothing like, like, like what they said. Yes, I'll definitely be coming back. Good. And this lovely young lady, I know you're shy, I got that, right? But I'm putting you on the spot okay, because cool. Guyana needs to know what's going on and we need to have more like you coming back home and representing our country in such a big, major way, right? Well, my name is Annette Linton. Um, this is my first time in Guyana. I'm a direct, theatre director, film director and a writer. Um, and I've had the most amazing, my dad's Guyanese, so this is the first time I've come back to see home away from home and it feels amazing I said this morning I just feel so happy to be here like it's Good. beautiful how was it at the Ghana shop looking at all those oh products? it was amazing we walking through the market and listening to these <laughs> ladies we have to go back stories. and buy loads of stuff to bring back to London yeah man um, but amazing and inspiring and um, just so lovely to see it and taste everything I was eating everything that was on offer <laughs> so <laughs> sitting and, and sitting having and street eating, food yeah it was lovely, so thank you, you so much. You enjoyed that egg ball? Oh my gosh, the egg ball was my favorite thing, man. That was good. <laughs> that, that was good. Hear that? We bring out the accent there quick. <laughs> that's what the egg ball does to you, right? So it is what it is. Thank you, ladies, so much. Really had fun, and that's the end of the market tour right there. See you when I see you, folks. Peace and love. Delvin Adams, back here, Catherine.